Let's get right to it. I spent a ton of time telling you about the failures of faker science in the real world. I've pinned a ton of blame on the academics because they tried to take real world roles and they had no real world skills. With that said, companies also shoulder a ton of the blame. We know that 90% or more of all the data science projects in the real world fail, and around 4% of models ever created are put into production. Did you get that? It means if you add up all the models built in the real world, 96% never reach into production. That's a catastrophic failure on every level. The group, after the faker scientists or the academics, of course, that deserve the blame for this monument of failure are the companies. They hired people who weren't qualified and put them into positions that guaranteed certain failure. Companies misunderstood the complexity of real-world data and the skills needed to work with that. They grossly misunderstood the learning curve for SQL. These companies paid a heavy price for that, billions of dollars lost. If you hire a plumber to do a mechanic's job, whose fault is that? Well, both of you. You hired the wrong person, and that person was dumb enough to take the job he or she was ill-qualified to do. I've said this quite a few times, but I'll say it again. No skill in machine learning is as important as your data skills. Most of the job is data sourcing and data cleansing. The lesson for companies and for those who want to work in this space is simple. If you don't have data skills, you're going to fail. The data science experiment has been one of the biggest failures we've ever seen in the history of information technology. 4%. That is the number of models in production since the Harvard Review called the data scientist the sexiest job of the 21st century in 2012. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.